Epson Media Installer uses EMX files to manage the mechanical parameters of the printer and the color profile settings. EMX files for all Epson Medias are built into Epson Media Installer. When looking in the Media Management tab, you will see that Epson Legacy and Epson Signature Worthy Medias show as registered. This indicates no further action is needed. If one or more Epson Legacy or Signature Worthy Medias are not in this list or they're not in the driver, simply click Refresh and they will be restored. Epson Medias that show Not Acquired can still be used. This only indicates that this particular media cannot be edited. If you want to edit the recommended mechanical parameters for an Epson Media that has a status of Not Acquired, simply copy the media by clicking on this icon. And here is the original, and now we have the copy. And once a copy is made, it is then automatically registered. Video number four in this series will show the step-by-steps needed to edit the mechanical parameters. Only copies of Epson Medias can be both edited and removed. Now go to the Media Downloads section. In the status column, you'll see Epson Medias that show as registered or not registered or not acquired and also updates that may be available. In the past, if there was a new Epson Media or an update to a media, one had to go to the website, find the profile, download the profile, and then install the profile into the computer. It's much simpler now with Epson Media Installer if there's an update, in this case to the particular media. Simply click on Update Available and then click Download and Register. For medias that you want to use but are not registered, simply click on the media, then select Download and Register. If it's a media that you're not going to be using and it's not registered, there's no need to download and register it. It is important before printing to make sure that the media type is set on the control panel of the printer that matches the media type set in the driver.